What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another DC Comics uh, video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the DC Comics May 2022 solicitations. So a lot of stuff's dropping on. This is also going to be where the whole event of Kill the Justice League or what, whatever it is, the Death of the Justice League events that's happening. We also got the conclusion of the Shadow War event which is the big crossover between Robin, Deathstroke and uh, the Batman book, all Joshua Williamson. So I'm excited for Shadow War. There's some other cool stuff that's kind of coming up in this month, so we'll get to talking about that too. So uh, first things first, Shadow War Part 5. Like I said, that starts kind of like next month, I believe. So uh, we got this one written by Joshua Williamson. Batman and Robin are finally reunited together to hunt for the truth beyond the death of Raz al Ghul. But then who is left to defend the secret society against the League of Shadows? Deathstroke's fight against the Demon Shadow ends with a shocking cliffhanger. Plus what happens when you get Deathstroke infected with Joker toxin? Find out in this epic backup story. Deathstroke Incorporated number 9, Shadow War Part 6. A tragic death sends the Shadow War into overdrive. Batman Rama must solve the mystery before more blood is shed. Meanwhile, Deathstroke regroups and the Secret Society to plan an attack on Talia and the League of Shadows. If Talia wanted a war, she's going to get a war. Here's some fun little variant covers here. Also, they're going to be showcasing like a new Batman villain, I guess. I don't know if that uh, should be kind of interesting. Uh, Shadow War Part 7. This is in Robin. Fight Batman and King versus Sh League of Shadows versus the Secret Society. That's right, versus Talia and only one walker from the fly. Robin knows the truth beyond Rosal Gold's death and race to stop the Shadow War. Shadow War Omega Number 1. The Shadow War's epic conclusion. So this is where it's all going to kind of end here. It's going to be another big crossover thing. Then there's Shadow War Zone 1 with this new character right here. It looks straight out of like some sort of like shonen anime thing so i like the anime influence that the robin book's been kind of incorporating it's kind of fun and fresh to it so um yeah shadow war epic conclusion the shocking finale of shadow war L lives have been lost heroes and villains have fallen in battle and now the real mastermind behind the shadow war has been revealed but they are far from done batman and robin are all that's left to put a stop to their real plans can the father and son duo work together to save the day events in this issue lead directly into dc's next big summer event okay then we have shadow war zone number one and then this one is kind of another thing right here on sale 517. <clears throat> so this one's going to kind of be released in the little middle of it. A special issue that showcases the spread and impact of the Shadow War on the DCU. Talia al Ghul has put a hit on it. Anyone who's ever worked with Deathstroke, and that includes Black Canary. Where has Luke Fox been? Talia is sick of watching with the silence, enjoys the battle herself. Also featuring the new villain, Angel Breaker. What is her connection to Ghostmaker? So we got that. Uh, then we get another Batman title, Batman Fortress number one. Uh, should be kind of Batman things. Yeah, people wrote World 1, Batman Annual 22. This is a follow-up to that whole, like, Ghostmaker events and, uh, from before. Clown Hunters coming back, um, Ed Brisson. I don't particularly care. Uh, Batman, One Dark Knight. So, like I said, it's all Batman so far. Uh, like I said, they still cross over with other things, but Batman's probably taking the focus like he always does. Uh, so we got that there. Then we got Flashpoint Beyond Number 2 by Jeff Johns, Tim Sheridan, and Jeremy Adams. Now, Tim Sheridan's book, Teen Titans Academy, is ending this month. So, another Teen Titans book just bites the dust rather quickly because it wasn't very good. So, DC Event 22 continues as Thomas Wayne investigates the continuing mystery of the Clockwork Killer. So, like I said, we got Flashpoint Beyond. Because, like I said, Thomas Wayne's Batman, I believe, is in Just League Incarnate. Got zapped by Darkseid, which means he probably went through a different universe here. I don't exactly know. I'm just, like, I'm kind of done with Flashpoint at this point. So, yeah. So, this will be a six part miniseries um by kenny porter we have uh the flash the fastest man alive number two barry allen's early days as the flash continues so we got that there um action comics 22 22 annual number one i'm gonna kind of skim through these really quickly so um i heard the philip kennedy johnson stuff is actually really good so i'm thinking of actually picking it up but i've just read so much i've got so much batman that i've been reading and just trying to keep up with all that it's just like oh my god another one so uh yeah so there's that uh world war war world saga um, Aquaman Andromeda, number one. This is going to be kind of a bit of a horror story, I guess. It's going to be like a three-part thing written by Rand V, who's written some good stuff. Um, something along the lines of that. Earth Prime, Legends of Tomorrow, number three. So I guess the Legends of Tomorrow characters from the Arrowverse are going to be getting a comics thing that might tie into the DC Universe. Eh, I don't know. I'm kind of over the uh, Arrowverse. Here's one that I'm really excited about. So we got, uh, what was it, Earth Prime Stargirl. So you got that going on right there. Uh, then we have Jurassic, the Jurassic League, which is, uh, you're combining some of my favorite things. You're combining, like, the DC Universe and fucking dinosaurs. And I love dinosaurs. So, the fact that the Justice League are all just going to be some sort of dinosaurs, like Land Before Time style, uh, I guess Batman is Chomper, and then, um, 
Superman is little. Is that like Littlefoot? And then, of course, Wonder Woman is going to be Sarah. So I'm just bringing a Land Before Time connection. But basically, dinos the Just League are dinosaurs now. I don't know how or why necessarily. I'm not even going to skim through the description or the description. I'm just going to read it because the Justice League are fucking dinosaurs. So that's cool. Uh, Nubia special right here. Uh, here's a cool one right here. Um, so if you like Nubia, there you go. Uh, DC versus vampires. Hunters number one. I guess they're taking a little bit of a break, but here we go. Damien is going to be a vampire hunter, so I'm actually really kind of excited for this thing. I guess this is going to be like an in-between issue, between issue 6 and 7. Um, but it's going to be written by Matthew Rosenberg. A blood-soaked one-shot tale of vampire violence. The son of Batman, after years of training to be an assassin, is on a path towards utter destruction of the vampire race. That's your Damien Wayne vampire hunter. Okay, this sounds really cool. I like the, the cover here, like the variant cover. Can we please get a team up between these two again? I'm begging you. Um, Danger Street, number 1 by Tom King. So Tom King's writing more stuff again. There we go. So if you're excited for that, there you go. Uh, Blood Syndicate, season one, number one. Uh, I'm not familiar with this one. Covered by Dexter Soy. All right, so the Blood Syndicate. Okay, this is like the Milestone Universe. So if you're interested in the Milestone Universe, uh, here you go. Uh, Duo, number one. Not sure what this is. When Milestone returns. Okay, it's another Milestone thing. Static, season one. Just like there. Uh, Dark Crisis, special edition. The Road to Dark Crisis, I guess this is something that everyone's going to have to be picking up because it's the big crisis event of the year. Joshua Williamson, who seems to be writing like everything these days. At least he's writing some good stuff. So the Justice League has tragically fallen to battle, and now we see the aftermath. How does this world react to the Justice League being gone? Which heroes rise up, and which villains try to take advantage? And what dark forces are lying in wait to attack? An all-star roster of DC talent showcases a world without a Justice League and sets the stage for next month's Dark Crisis event. So that's going to begin in June. Um free comic book day special right here so you got that um galaxy the prettiest star special condition right there dc league of super pets free comic book day since so we're setting up the free or the super pets movie so i'm looking forward to that zatanna's getting something black adam seems to be kind of getting this right here or it's uh looks like a collection <clears throat> batman 89 like there's a collection right there of that um when can we get the new stuff sandman universe nightmare country number two Fables number 151. I'll leave in the link in the description for you all to check this out. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too, too long because there is a lot to go through and I don't want to lose my voice. Uh, I just got done recording that uh, DCMU video. So we have uh, Action Comics number 1043, Philip Kennedy Johnson, hearing really good things about the World World Saga. So uh, I definitely want to kind of check this out at some point because I've been like reading other stuff and I want to read something kind of different. Um, <clears throat> Batgirls number two by Becky Cloonan and Michael W. Conrad. With Bads kidnapped and tied down by Spellbinder, the Batgirls have to navigate through Tudor's operations without an oracle. Can Babs escape Spellbinder's hypnosis before he's done painting? Her to add to his collection of other drawings of other beautiful young women. So we got that. Uh, Batman Beyond Neo Year number two. So we got this right here. Could be kind of interesting, but they did like, um, I believe this is set up in Urban Legends, but killing off Bruce Wayne kind of takes away from the Batman Beyond dynamic thing. Um, now we're Batman Beyond the White Knights. Um, Terry McGinnis and all that right there. So you got this in Batman Beyond. Batman Killing Time, another Batman thing. This time by Tom King, so it's going to be a pass from me. Um, Batman the Night by Chip Zdarsky. I actually like what Chip Zdarsky did and some stuff, so I might check this out. But man, Batman again. Batman Urban Legends number 15. Um, so this is a ton of stuff. Ace the Bat Hound. Um, we're bringing Katana in here. We got KG Beast, Birds of Prey. So it could be all kind of good fun here. Batman Superman World's Finest there. That's written by Mark Wade. Uh, Catwoman number 43. Uh, vroom, vroom. We all have a friend who we want to call Wargo's Night Out. Um, there's that. Detective Comics number 1060. My goodness, how many issues is Mariko Tamaki in that, like, written, like, in consecutive order? Like, they had this whole 12 week thing, and they're just going to go back to, like, twice a month again? That's insane. Um, Batman is to play one of his most powerful weapons in the hunt for a mysterious bomber plague in Gotham City, but it's not the Batmobile. The Batwinger in this is Bruce Wayne as Bruce investigates the courtroom Bobby and really left Deb Donovan's daughter. That's fire on the wall. Okay, so Deb Donovan does have a kid. Okay, here's an interesting one. Future State Gotham, number 13. So you see on the cover, we got like Batman, we have Nightwing there, and we have Talia al Ghul. Um, Batman, Batman at War, Part 1, the rumors regarding Bruce's death have been greatly exaggerated now. Despite the best efforts in the imposter hush, the real deal is returned with the help of Talia al Ghul. Together, they must travel the world to find their son, Damian Wayne, before it's too late. The return of Batman and Robin to future state Gotham can't be far behind unless something terrible happens first. Okay, this is something kind of intriguing. Now, 
I wish they were kind of done with Future State, but the one kind of big mystery, one of the big mysteries of Future State is what the hell happened to Damien? He's completely absent from it. There's references to him. It's almost like there's something kind of went wrong with him. Or either he went to the dark side, which is a stupid idea to begin with. I mean, everyone kind of knows it at this point. Or maybe he's been kidnapped, or perhaps he's just chilling somewhere. But, like, I've always kind of wondered, okay, well, where did he end up? Like, he's the one Bat family member that we don't know what exactly happened to him. So it should be kind of interesting to see uh, what happens there. So we got that. Harley Quinn, number 15. So right there. Um, then I Am Batman, number 9. I didn't read the most re this week's issue of I Am Batman. I feel like I've kind of just dropped it off because I just kind of lost interest. And I'm like, it feels kind of distant. So I may pick it up again sometime soon, but I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a no-buy for me. This is from Brian Michael Bendis. And I haven't really liked what Bendis has done. Justice League versus the Legion of Superhero. I don't know and uh, don't care. Looney Tunes, I'm amazed that this comic is still going. Uh, is anyone picking it up? Somebody please let me know. Usual Gang of Idiots, right there. Oh, that's my TV. Uh, the Monkey Prince, number four. Haven't read any of the, the Monkey Prince stuff yet, so I don't know if it's going to be good, but it looks like Monkey Prince and Batman and Robin are kind of working together, so I may want to check it out just out of curiosity. Uh, Naomi, season two, number three, written by Brian Michael Bendis. This is three issue three of six. So, from the original creators, Naomi comes this all-new DC epic starring the CW's newest sensation. Does anybody think the Naomi shows a sensation? Let me know. So we got this. We got uh, Nightwing number eight, 92. Wow, 92. We're getting close to 100 now. So we got that there, Bitewing there, and then we got the Thirst cover right there for most people. Uh, Bloodhaven's Mary, Melinda Zuko. Oh, we're finally kind of bringing this plot point back up again. Yeah, it's kind of been like with Nightwing. It's like the plot just kind of got lost in the shuffle of a bunch of other things. So hopefully we can kind of pick it up again and build upon that stuff. So... Um, Linda Zuko's in trouble pretending to work for Blockbuster while secretly trying to take him and his gang of criminals down, while also working alongside Dick Grayson to uplift the city. But as his half-sister sharing the last name of a man who killed his parents, it's a lot to juggle and enough for one to accidentally let slip a secret or two in the wrong company if she's not careful. Meanwhile, Nightwing and Oracle cuddle up, ooh my goodness, and decide to finally define the relationship. Aren't they just dating... What are they? So, I guess they're together. Are they going to get married at some point? I feel like Nightwing 100 is going to be a... I'm calling it now. It's going to be a Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon wedding. And this time, it'll actually go through. I think. I don't know. That's that's a prediction I'm having. You can, like, bookmark this video and tell me I'm wrong later on. Um, One Star Squad Squadron number 6 by Mark Russell. Haven't read this at all. Um, Rogues number three by Joshua Williamson, issue number three of four, seven dollars for a forty-eight page comic. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know if I'll be picking this thing up. I've been reading a lot of Williamson stuff. Um, oh, the final issue of Suicide Squad. Didn't we just had a Tom Taylor Suicide Squad thing? Now we're on to this Suicide Squad thing. It's going to be kind of dropped after this, and which is kind of surprising given the whole Peacemaker thing and angle to it. Uh, through space, an alternate rest of the squad has tried to free themselves from Waller's clutches in the series finale. They risk everything to freedom one last time. Uh, Superman, Son of Kal-El, number 11, a pretty mid-series so far, by Tom Taylor, uh, which started out okay with issue one, but then it just, like, it's just, it's, I don't know, I, I, Son of kal is just kind of a really kind of lackluster, underwhelming book for me. John Kent has faced many challenges in life as both Superman and a Super Son, but will we, but what will the first son of the last son of Krypton do in the faces of many human bombs? John faces a deadly decision. Lex Luthor's alliance with President Bendix deepens in this penumulative chapter of the Rising Saga. Okay. Don't care so much. Swamp Thing, Green Hell, number three. Uh, so if you're into Swamp Thing in that. Uh, Task Force Z, number eight of 12. Written by Matthew Rosenberg. All new team, same old problems after losing everything. Task Force Z has finally discovered who their real enemy is. Jason and his team are on the run. Uh, underpowered and out guns but everyone knew this was really just a suicide squad when they signed up right one way or another they're going to finish this only one thing stands in the way but that one thing happens to be the bat family hmm should be interesting teen titans academy number 15 oh boy you get your ship on their cover yay blah 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 don't give a shit uh written by tim sheridan ha 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 this is the end the end of you teen titans academy Final issue, in the shadow of the new Teen Titans Tower, the students and faculty decide whether the school is the right place for them. No, 
It has not. This has been a total disaster. They were completely ill-prepared for this thing. There was no foundation for it. This book was a disaster on all accounts. Um, overstuffed, overcrowded, never finished any storylines. Dragging on this fucking Red X storyline for God knows for how long. Over a year at this point. And it just, it had strong potential. The, the concept alone sounds really good. But they needed to work up to it before we needed like a whole like you know like 10 issue run or something with you know dick's generation t training oh come on of course it crashed on me oh stupid thing of course the internet crashes it's because i'm talking about this book so we need like something there like just a foundation before it all could like come crashing down like that okay so it came crashing down so stupid internet um, so yeah, written by Tim Sheridan, yada yada. It just needed a foundation, but I'm glad this series is ending. Hopefully after this big event, we can finally get a good Teen Titans book. I would actually hope they can put, like, Peter Tomasi on it. But unfortunately, probably won't. Um, so yeah, we got that. Then we got The Flash. Uh, so it should be kind of interesting there. I haven't been reading Flash. Too many books right now, so. Okay, uh, James Tiny the Fourth, Last Nice House on the Lake or whatever. Uh, Swamp Thing number 13, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman again, Worlds of Krypton, uh, Collected Comics, and it seems like that is pretty much going to be it in terms of uh, comics for this particular month. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this thing right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on the solicitations for this month? Are you excited? Or are you not really excited? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below and let me know uh, what you think of all this stuff. Hang on, let me just switch to that. So, yeah, let's close these ads really quick. I hate, the, I hate ads. They're so annoying at this point. Um, but yeah, like I said, thing I'm most looking forward to is the Shadow War events out of everything else that's kind of in there. Um, yeah, so far it's kind of just Shadow War for me. The, death, the, the Justice League Crisis thing, I don't even know. It could be good, could be bad. Um, sometimes crises are like that. But the most thing, the thing I'm most looking forward to is Shadow War because it's kind of a crossover between a couple of different of the Williamson books that I've been reading. So there's that. Shadow War is what I'm most looking forward to. I'm excited about that Damien one shot where he's going to be like a vampire hunter. I think that sounds kind of cool, all things considered. Oh, here I am. I kind of got vanished a little bit on the computer. I wonder how long that was for. But, um, yeah, so there's that. All right, well, that's all I really have to say about this particular issue. Tell me your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And, uh, yeah, be sure to come back next time. We'll be talking about more DC comic stuff down the road. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go on from there. All right, well, that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Get this fucking ad out of here. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.